Hi everyone, this is Piyush Jain. Welcome to my channel, PG Analytics. If you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe. Now in this video, I will talk about how we can do the sorting based on the parameter selection. Let's see why we need that. I will drag the customer name into the rows and I will drag multiple measures into the columns. So I will drag the profit, sales, and the quantity. So here I have dragged three measures and we can see three bar chart is coming. So first axis we can see this uh, represent the profit and after that it represent the sales and this axis represent the quantity. So for each customer, we are showing the profit, sales, and quantity. And the customer name is in the alphabetically order. So we can see A, A, then we will see the B. It is coming into the alphabetically order. Now I want to sort the customer name based on the profit, sales, or quantity. So if we want to do the sorting, just right click on the customer name select the option sort and select if you want to sort based on the measure so we have to select the field now we'll select the descending order and here we can select the profit so right now if we see this customer name is coming into the descending order based on their profit but in this approach, we can sort based on only with one matrix. So here we can mention that matrix. If you want to sort based on the profit, here we have to select the profit. If we want to sort based on the sales, now we can see this customer name is sorted in descending order based on their sales value. So by this approach, we can sort based on only one measures. Now, if we want to provide an option and based on the selection of op option, the customer name should be sorted. So we can do or we can achieve that by using the parameter. So I will create one parameter and let's keep the name sort. We'll select the string data type and here we will mention the profit. So I'll mention the profit sales and quantity. So in this parameter, the name is sort. We have defined the data type of this parameter is string and we have select the list. So in list, we have mentioned the three values, profit, sales and quantity. I'll create this parameter. So sort parameter is created. I will just show the control right click and uh, show parameter now we have to use this parameter as we know the parameter alone does not work we have to use that in calculation filter or reference line so i will write one calculation sorting and if sort parameter is equal to profit then sum of profit, else if sort parameter is equal to sales, then sum of sales, else sum of quantity. So what will happen into this calculation? Based on the selection, if you select the profit into this parameter, this calculation will return the sum of profit. When we select sales, this calculation will return the sum of sales and so on. I will create this calculation, apply. Now the customer name, we will sort based on this calculation. So the value of calculation will change based on the selection in parameter. Now, again, I will do the sort option and field instead of any specific metrics or the measures. I will select this calculation. So I have given the name of sorting. Here I will select the sorting. 
now we know from this calculation the value will dynamically change based on the parameter so i will just close this window now the profit is selected and the we can see this customer name is sorted based on the profit and we have sorted in descending order so the uh, we can see first customer is having the highest profit and when we hover on below bar chart you can see the profit is going uh, decrease now from profit let's see to sales now we can see this is sorted the customer is name is sorted based on the sales value now the sales value is coming into the descending order same we can change sales to quantity now the customer is name is sorted based on the quantity value so this is how based on the selection of parameter we can apply the sorting i hope you enjoy this video please like and subscribe thank you